Hi, thank you for joining me. It's Friday the 17th of May. Okay, let's see what animals come out for us today in my tarot and oracle packs. You can probably hear Poppy tick-tacking away. It's like staring at me because it's time for a walk. So I'll make this quick because uh, apparently I have other obligations to fulfill. Penguin, oh, how beautiful is that? I love this little penguin. Um, he is the seer of shells, which is like the page of cups. Um, and that is really beautiful, actually. I, <laughs> he's looking at that little fish. Obviously, in this card is related to Pisces, which I always mention because this um, my son is a Pisces. So I love the dreamy quality that the page or the seer of shells in this case brings to the world. Um, <laughs> mind you, I'm teaching my son to drive at the moment, so having a really dreamy state of mind where you just drift off and don't concentrate is not a great combination for driving. Anywho, enough about me. <laughs> I love this. And i tell you why. Because it looks like a bridge to somewhere else, doesn't it? A bridge. And obviously that penguin can effortlessly glide over to that and go and find out where it where it's leading. It's almost like we don't know, do we? Where, where is it going? Who knows? That's for you to decide. Where is this bridge going to take you? It feels like the bridge from one world to another. And we've had this theme all week. It's been based very much on the fact that our emotions are very um, positive and full of love and happiness and joy and gratitude. And if we're working from that space, then that's a really lovely place to start any journey from. Now, when the pages or the seers come into a reading, they do um, indicate many things. And obviously, this is a collective message. Um, but today, I feel this is about newness in some way. Okay, so um, I feel this is opportunities and I think it is in line with our feelings. I'm feeling it's in line with our feelings, should we say. So opportunities to grow and capitalise on those wonderful feelings of abundance, of joy, of gratitude, you know, all these amazing feelings that we can get. It's like, well, let's take this and go with it, yeah? So perhaps you've had somebody come into your life and it's made you feel really happy. It could be somebody you met before, somebody new um and you're thinking oh i'm gonna see where this goes you know a new new friendship or relationship or you know just new new people in your life if you've started a new job and you just feel like you fit you know it's that kind of message um i feel like this could potentially be in a business setting you're finally doing something that is in line with who you want to be and you're getting more opportunities to do that as if the, the world is guiding you away from jobs and, and, you know, things in the past that were really keeping you flat and miserable and saying, no, come on, go with this, go with this. Um, I know a lady who is um, does, does some amazing art, amazing art. Her name is Mel. Yes, but I know she's also, you know, got a day job. And I just can, you know, it's just lovely to see the more and more exhibitions that she's going to. Um, and you may you may resonate with that um, because, you know, we are always being guided. I said that earlier in the week. We're always being guided. So when these beautiful opportunities appear for you and they're like, oh, oh, that's just what I want to do. Do it. Don't think about it. Don't talk yourself out of it. Do it. And the, the seer of shells, which is very difficult to say when you've got braces, the seer of shells is that sort of person that would do it because they are 100% led by their emotions. And if their emotions are in a really good space, they're just going to keep going with it and going with it and going with it. Having said that, if your emotions aren't in a good place, you can sort of, you know, go down and down. So I feel like when I want to say be aware of that, be aware that, all emotions can take us on a journey. So pick the ones that are going to elevate you rather than sink you, if you get what I mean by that. Okay, let's see what Oracle card joins us. I'm not sure if there's a penguin in here, actually. So we shall see. I do love the, these cards. They're very pretty. Right, who's going to come out? Oh, okay. Vulture. 
vulture spirit nothing is wasted okay that's interesting that is very interesting i went on holiday recently to the lake district with my mum and we saw a couple of vultures on a, a bird of prey display and they're so um they're kind of ignored at what an important part of the ecosystem they are but they were so funny and so beautiful and so sociable actually because they work in in groups i don't know what the collective term is for vulture please put it in the comments if you do but you know they're there to do a job and they do it well but you know not everybody likes the idea of what they do but um i feel this is mess this message is coming in to remind us where's my other little card gone that as we go on our new journeys, we take with it, not baggage, but experience. So if you took some wrong turns in your life, be it in relationships, in jobs, I don't know, maybe you've moved and think, oh, I don't know if I like this house. You know, just lots of different things can be in our minds, something that was a wrong turn, something we did that you think, oh, why did I waste my years doing that? With them <laughs> you know what i mean don't you nothing is wasted it's all your experiences and you can draw on those when you're doing your new experiences okay so if you know and we're going back to a career now but if you know that something that you create makes you so happy then that's an experience in your head to think well i'd like to do more of that if you've had a relationship that's ended in, you know ended not very nicely or you know in a bit of a messy divorce and you're thinking about new loves maybe putting yourself out there and seeing what you know seeing what happens you don't have you've got that experience of what you didn't want in you know in a relationship to put your heart out there and and you know find something different so i feel like this is saying to us nothing is wasted if you've had a bad couple of years or a bad experience in the last few years it hasn't held you back. It's given you, a, a, you know, perhaps a bit of time of self-reflection or a time of, of, you know, knowing what you don't want in your life to make your life what you do want. So I feel like this is coming in here as well because it's the vulture and the vulture's job is to sort of gobble up everything and just get rid of the carcass. I feel like that is saying we're wiping the slate clean now, okay? That's my job. I come in and do it. So I want you to be this person, but now I'm in the background clearing up all that mess so it's nice and clear for you to move on. So again, I feel in a collective message that is tying up all the loose ends, maybe going back and, and just tidying things away. It might even be on a very physical level that you're like, right, I want to sell this house. I'm going to get rid of all my clutter or, you know, my mind's in a mess so i need to just unpick that for a little bit and get rid of everything that doesn't doesn't need to be in my head um i don't know how you do that but <laughs> good luck so yeah there's this real element that the vulture is coming in to say look learn from this stuff but we can clear it all away now because it's gone it's finished it is that end and this is the beginning so there we are two very different birds giving us a very um very interesting message there so i hope you can take something from that and um and it resonates with you today i'd be really interested to know how right i'm back again tomorrow i'm here every day don't forget as well i never say this but i do do readings via zoom so regardless of where you are in the world um yeah we can get in touch and we can have a reading i'll put a, a link in the description as to for my website so you can book um and i do do late nights sometimes which suits people in the us because then it's the afternoon for you or early evening for you. And I do do early mornings, which suits people in um, Australia and New Zealand as well. So if you've got that time difference, um, then, you know, hopefully there's something there for you. So do have a look. Right. Have a wonderful day and I will be back again tomorrow. Bye for now.